Welcome back to another Stedler Art Sessions with Rian. In today's session, we will take a look at animal anatomy. I'm going to show you the basics of drawing animals. We will keep it simple today and in future sessions, we will look at the details. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or use the chat box during the live session. Let's go draw animals. In this session, Rian will be using the Stadler Lumograph pencils. Drawing animals is not too difficult if you understand the basics of their anatomy. We will simplify it into basic blocks and circles. Let us start by drawing a dog from the side. Draw animals from the side until you are comfortable with their proportions. Start by blocking in the head. Try to see how the blocks differ in size and shape in relation to each other. The dog's head consists of two blocks, one for the muzzle and one for the back of the head. Then we draw two more blocks for the neck and shoulders. Draw the body with one big block. The block doesn't need to have straight edges or details yet. Keep it very simple. We add another block for the thigh. Try to shape the block to follow the shape of the animal's thigh. Draw a slender block at the correct angle for the upper arm, also known as the humerus. Then we draw an extended block for the arm. Note that the feet do not start at the base of the leg, but extend forward a bit. This is where the wrist or carpals are. The hind leg needs to have three parts. The femur, tibia, fibula and the tarsal bones. The tarsal or foot bones are longer and not flat on the ground like humans. After we have drawn all the basics of the dog, we can start to add the detail to it. Features will differ depending on the type of dog you are drawing, but in most cases the proportions and placement of the body parts are similar. Let's draw a horse. We will use all the same blocks as we have done with the dog, but the proportions will now be different.
If you see that you have made a mistake, try to correct it immediately. That is why we are using simple blocks to draw animals. It is easier to make corrections to simple drawings than correcting detailed drawings. When you see that using the blocking method will not work, rather use circles and ovals to draw animals. Let us start with a circle for the head. Then a big oval for the chest area and another oval for the rest of the body. You may want to shape the ovals like a teardrop in places like the back of the body. Ovals work great for the feet. Pay attention to how the legs are shaped. They are never just straight lines, but usually have angles and curves to them. Once you are happy with the placement of the basic shapes, you can start to add the detail to the lion. Also, keep the detail simple so that you can easily make corrections.
We hope that you've enjoyed this session. Remember that drawing accurately requires practice, but more than that, keep your drawings as simple as possible when you start. It is always easier to make corrections to simple drawings. Keep drawing and remember to have fun whilst doing it.